The question 5 is to simplify rational expressions by multiplying and dividing. For this particular question, please click on this link or scan this QR code and watch the video. All the exam questions are explained in this link. After watching that, I will do a shortcut method over here. Please use your calculator to solve these questions in your exam. You will have four options in your exam, so you can easily figure out which is the correct answer. First, you need to type this equation in this calculator as it is. Now here you do not have y as the variable in your calculator. You need to put alpha and x. I've just typed this equation over here, everything in the calculator. Now you need to calculate this at any specific value. You can choose 1, 2, 3, anything. I would personally avoid 1 because sometimes you may not get the accurate answer. And please don't make the denominator 0. Here you should avoid 6. If you consider calculate at 6, you'll get an error. Why? Because it's undefined. Same with over here 3. If you take plus 3 or minus 3, it is also undefined. So avoid those numbers. The best answer, best uh, values to consider is like 1.5. You will definitely get an answer. And this is 13 by 2. Now keep this in mind, 6.5 or 13 by 2. You will have four options, isn't it? Just solve those options. Now calculate at how much? 1.5. Look at all the four options. Type it out. Now this is y plus phi. So alpha x plus phi. And calculate at the same saved value. You must get the same answer. Only one will give you the correct answer. All the others will be different. So this is how we can easily figure out which is the correct answer. Now what if there are two variables? That is also fine. Now this is division. Here one important thing which you must remember is you can't consider to be alpha x. Don't take that. You can take for one variable but what about the other variable? You need to give it a certain number. See I will type this as c as say 2 and d values as 3. And then I will solve it up. So I'm assuming c to be 2. So I'll just write it as 2 squared here. 2 squared minus 6 times 2 and so on. And for d, I will take it as 3. I have just typed it out. You can see over here, wherever c is there, I've typed it as 2. And wherever d is there, I've typed it as 3. So the same thing is done entirely. And then press equal to. The answer is negative 2. Same thing, do it over here now. For C value, I will put it as 2 and for the D value, I will put it as 3. C minus 3, close the bracket. And the answer is negative 2 itself. Only one correct option will give you the correct answer. And this is how easily you can solve it up. You don't need to do any of these long methods. Use your calculator and directly solve it. If you have single variable, it's very simple. Just assume that variable and put it as alpha x and calc. But if it is any two variables, assume some value. Now over here, there are how many variables? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Doesn't matter. You can consider 2, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Or you can take it as like 1.5, 2, 2.5 and so on. Make sure the denominator doesn't become 0. But you're not assuming anything as 0 or anything. So it's fine. Even over here, it should be the same numbers. So what, what I would suggest is write down x is equal to so much, y is equal to in a piece of paper. Do it in the question, write the answer and do the, all the options. Whichever matches gives you the answer. Try to use the calculator method for these problems because you will save a lot of time. All these solutions are over here. Please go through them by yourselves. And that's the end of this topic. If you have any doubts, please post them in the comments.